It's February 6th. I'm out here with Tom Nolan. Uh, yeah, I'm the North American sales rep for Not Apery Products. Yeah. Which is what? Well, we're the manufacturers of Formic Pro and Mighty Way Quick Strips. Okay. Yeah. And he checked in with me today. We had lunch, and now we're going to peek in on some bees down here. We're going to do a couple of mite checks and then maybe figure out some recommendations for treatment. We've peeked it on these colonies before, and uh, this one right here is one that originally had a Lapis Queen in it. On the 31st of October, it had zero mites in it, so it has some good mite control then, but I have not checked them since then, Tom. So the original queen from this colony, when I created this colony, or when I requeened this colony, was from 2021 August. They may have superseded since then, but look at those bees, man. Pretty nice, huh? And they're working the frames, pretty calm. Let's pull some frames out and see what we have. We'll do a quick mite wash while we're in here. Look at that brood, man. Yeah. 6th of February, man, look at that. Right now, you know, we're just about past the threshold for oxalic acid vapor, right? Is that what your understanding is, Tom? I mean, it's probably not gonna be real effective. Yeah, you're starting to see a lot and of this is of the next to last frame on the outside, so I can imagine what we're gonna mm -hmm. have in here. So I don't see the queen anywhere. But we'll just set him right here, so if she does climb back up, mm. that's kind of how I like to do it. And then we'll couple I haven't done an inspection on this colony probably since that October 31st date I don't imagine look at that man look at that breed I'm having seasonal envy here <laughs> what what's, what are the temperatures we, like up there uh, last week in Canada we were uh, minus 31 uh, Fahrenheit yeah we had a real cold snap in wow. cer certain parts of Ontario look at look at that frame of brood though Look at that, guys. I mean, isn't that incredible? Look at these bees that are calm. We must have some sort of little flow coming in because the bees seem really calm. Now, these are pretty calm bees anyway, usually, but isn't that awesome? Yeah, they're looking great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull, go right in the middle. I want to pull one out. Yeah, why don't you ch check for the queen there, Tom, and we may use that frame for our, our mite test. I did use Apigard on these bees for the, at October 31st check was right after we took the apigard off about a week after we took it off and mm. so there were zero mites in here at that time in the wash yes yeah, there's a queen queen right a here solid frame of cap root here that queen right here has a yellow dot which means she is a oh, queen yeah. from yeah. last year so i'm not sure if i made a split in here if she was a cell actually that's, this was not that's not the original lapis queen that was in here because she got a yellow dot so that was a new queen from last year but look at these bees man incredible mm. so we can actually just Maybe take the next frame over, we'll do a check. Why don't you pull that one out there, Tom? Let's use this frame yeah. for our check. Because I know the queen's on this frame I'm holding in my hand. Mm -hmm. We'll pull that out. I'll slide this one back in. Once again, beautiful queen right here posing for us on the end of the frame. Mm. There she is right there. Beautiful, beautiful. She's filling it up. So let me do this. Just for purposes of a video, I'm gonna put set this right up here, mm -hmm. like this. I prefer this one anyways because it's got some open brood it's on this side. Got some open brood, yeah. We need it's better yeah. if you got open brood. Got a bunch of guys. Sol me. Solid brood on this side. You yeah. got it's a big strong colony. You got yeah, a lot man. Of, uh, I need to I'm probably add a box, huh? I'm gonna use the Dawn dishwashing soap here. I'm gonna go ahead and shake. Yeah, go ahead and shake. There we go. That's plenty. Let's, let's put this. Let's set back. it back in. Now this is a third cup scoop, but I'll give it a third plus a little bit more. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go add another box on here. We brought some extra boxes with more comb, allow these bees to move up, and then they can fill up that second box so they'll be ready for splits here in about, about a month. So let's go ahead and shake these bees and see if we have any mites in here. I found with the Dawn, if you swirl it, it works a little better. But, is that what you have in there? You have Dawn in there? The Dawn dishwashing okay. is okay. what Greg uses. It's about one to one and a half tablespoons per gallon of water, and it works really good. I'm still using the alcohol because I'm a bit of a creature of habit. But, uh, yeah, certainly. Tom, why don't you pull that up and see what, yeah. what our mites look like. Right. Are there any? We zero? Mm. Man, I'm seeing zero, right? I'm not, I'm not seeing any. Well, that's yeah. good news, right? I don't think there's any in there. No. Nope. We'll take zero all day, won't we? We'll take zero all day, yeah. Good deal. All right, sounds good. Maybe that's why they're looking so healthy. Okay, that's exciting news. Zero mites in there. Let me borrow the hive tool there, Tom. Well, this one had the same situation. Zero mites, 1031. This was one of Greg's queens in here from uh, Nature's Image Farm, one of the Pepto Pink Queens. And last time we looked in here a few weeks ago when we picked in, they looked pretty good. 
Let's so see that, how they look now. So was this requeened in July? Yes, requeened July 29th. Now, frankly, with Greg's queens, uh, they do have a heavy Caucasian influence. He talks about how they typically brew down quite a bit in the winter, so I don't expect it to be near as big of a cluster in here. A little bit of honey right here, left over. A little bit of nectar coming in through here. Nothing too impressive there. I'm actually going to go a couple frames over. I think most of the brood is kind of over mm, on this over side this of side, the yeah. box for some reason. Not a lot of brood yet. Let's look for eggs, Tom. See what you see if you see any eggs in there. Mm -hmm. Greg, man, your bees are calm. Here's some nice brood here. We have a little mix here on this frame. I think we got some brood here. Oh yeah, we got eggs, all stages of larvae, all through here. Mm -hmm. So starting to brood up, starting to ramp up a little. Yeah, we got eggs. There's some There's pollen through here. Yeah, we've got eggs on here. We got eggs. Good deal. Why don't you slide that back down in there? Check this one out while I look at the next one over. Look for the queen. That one might be a good one to take a wash off of. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. It's bee season here in southeast Alabama. Tom's still a couple months away, but we're rocking and rolling here. Tom is from Quebec? No, no, Ontario. Ontario. He's from Ontario. Ontario Tom Canada. is from Ontario, Canada, so it's much, much colder up there. I think you said it was negative 31 last week, right? Yeah, not quite in our area, but right next door it was, yeah. <laughs> So it's a so we pleasure have, being in Alabama. We have never ever experienced that cold here. If we get in the if we get below 20, we think we're gonna die here. Fahrenheit, of course. I'm seeing bees with pollen a little pollen in their baskets. Just calm, happy bees, don't you think? Just kind of look for the queen and do a quick inspection on these frames. Another frame of nice brood. Got some pollen, some bees. I think we're okay. Uh, we'll do a quick scan in there for the queen too, just to make sure. Yeah, hey, we'll do a quick wash on these and see what we have too. Maybe we'll get a zero on this one too, I sure hope so. All right, man, let's see what we got. What do you think? We'll have to let this sit for a minute. Yeah, let it sit yeah, for a second. Let While we're letting sit. it sit, why don't we put this other box on there? I think we'll just set it on there. They'll move up into it because the bees are all the way to the top. There's not really a honey room on top. Look at all those bees, man. That's so cool. Yeah, that's nice. And we know now they're really nice. more than likely pretty darn clean bees. I'm excited about that. There we go. Yep. Just slap the lid on and we'll give them some time to move up in there. That's a box full of comb. So my hope is that they will move up in there over the next uh, few weeks. And then we can pull a split off of this, maybe two splits off of this hive. Tom, what do you think about working bees in February? I'm excited. I'm like, I'm like this is such a treat, you know? No <laughs> snow. No frost, like a, no like frost a kid bite. in a candy store, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, let's look at these mice and see what we have over here. I think that's debris. I don't think that's Man, too big that's to awesome. know, right? Nothing. Nothing so Zero. far. Okay, so Tom's already broken into this next one over here. It actually has one of Greg's queens in it, too. They're a little more active, a little yeah. more feisty, but you'll see it when you pull it up. See right here? Beetles. Okay. Little so jokers. tell me, not. Uh, not having a lot of experience with beetles in, uh, in Canada. Go. Do the beetles, high beetle count, have an effect on the uh, temperament of the colony? Uh, I've never thought about that. It's very, it's very possible, though. Because yeah, those last two colonies are quite calm. Yes. This colony here is quite lively. A little bit more fired lively. up. Although it's got, uh, it's doing well. We're yeah, seeing, I'd... We're seeing a lot of cat brood, various stages yeah. of brood. Um, Pretty good. No queen yet. There's probably some sort of a little flow coming in because these bees are quite calm mm. considering the time of year. Mm. We got mm. Tom wearing one of uh, Terry's Guardian Bee jacket pullovers here. He's not used to the pullover with the zipper that where it kind of drops down in the front, but I was telling him the ones that zip up like in the front, like an entire regular type jacket, <laughs> they the, the veil does fall backwards. Yeah, it's so nice. It's not right a bad then. little cluster. Yeah. Most of the population might be in that top box. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we don't have a lot of population down here. Yeah, we can just close it up, man. I think mm -hmm. most of the stuff's going on in the top box. This is more of the smaller cluster size I kind of expected when Greg brought these queens here to see this time of year. I guess, here's my question, Tom, a good question, I think, for you. Mm -hmm. If you were going to treat a colony like this with Formic Pro, mm -hmm. a two-stack, <laughs> five framer that's just really one box of bees. Can you do that or is it you just can't use Formic Pro for that or is there a way to do it? You'd be gambling with this one a little bit. It's, you know, you really, you don't have really 
five full frames of bees. Yeah, so you so, need to have a minimum of yeah, five so frames you, of bees. Yeah, so you want to have a minimum of five frames of bees. Okay. So I would sort of, um, I would Back wait until this expanded a bit. Okay. No, I don't see her here. Let's go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm just going to let you kind of walk I'm through going the process. To, uh, I'm not going to overdo it here because we don't need a lot of bees, right? It's plenty. That's plenty. That's a third of a cup, and yeah, for measuring sakes, I'm sure we got half a cup there. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we got? Yeah. Is that one right under your thumb? Yeah, I think we got one. That's, that's one right there, one right there, I maybe one mite. Yeah. Okay, I think you're right. I think we found the mite. One mite, though, we'll still take that, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, definitely take that. <laughs> All right, we're in the last two colonies here. This is a feed frame. Yeah, lots of food. You said it was heavy, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've been putting fondant on a few of these. Like this one, obviously. It's a little light, a little weak. Um, some of them are really nice and heavy, and some of them are a little bit lighter, but... This one doesn't This is the Hive Alive Fond, and if you, you know, if you want a discount on it, if you want to try it out, I'll put a link down below. Just put Bruce 10 to get a discount on your fondant or your Hive Alive products. But, uh, Tom, what do you think about these bees, man, so far? I think they're looking... Quite awesome. <laughs> Overall doing pretty good, Overall, right? Some are a little weak, but that's to be expected. But but those were the splits you made late in the season, no? Yeah, some of them. I think some of them may just be failing a little bit. But overall, I'm um, looking pretty good. Whew. All right, man. I think that's 26 colonies. Overall, I think they're pretty good. And uh, really, we tested five or six colonies and had a total of four mites. So right now, maybe we don't even need to treat these bees. Yeah. What do you think? That's pretty low. I mean, we didn't... Uh, do we find one with two mites? With zeros, ones? I can't remember. We had, had several zeros. zeros. We had two hives that had one mite and then one that tested one two. two. So. Yeah, so. We'll see. I guess we can continue to monitor and see. Right now, if it were today, I don't think we need to treat, but we'll see how it looks in a couple of weeks, maybe. Anyway, I appreciate you coming and helping me. Now, we're about to go do an interview and just talk a little bit more about the Formic Pro. Uh, so, if you want to see that video, you can go right here. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.